So Javante Davis, one of the fighters Floyd Schofield was calling out to fight, he came out giving his reaction to Floyd Schofield tough fight last night, where Javante said, quote, I'm getting me a bite to eat, and I'm hearing Kid Austin, you getting your ass kicked, bruh. Tell me it ain't so. Hit me back as soon as possible. Clear this shit up. Then Tank Davis gave his reaction to Kid Austin falling in the corner when he went to sit on his stool after he got hurt in one of the rounds, where Javante said laughing emojis, head ass, and stop letting your father cut your hair. End of the quote. One thing for sure though, Kid Austin's father actually did a great job coaching him in the corner. Kid Austin being the superior athlete, all he had to do was be disciplined to win the fight. However, he kept getting greedy. He kept getting into a war, not following the game plan. So I liked how his father actually checked him on that. Now, even though Kid Austin or Schofield completely dominated his opponent, I mean, the fight wasn't even close. However, his opponent was in the fight, the entire fight. He had a puncher chance. He was dangerous, especially when Kid Austin turned his back on his opponent, which is a no-no. We all remember what happened to Deontay Wilder earlier this year. There's no secret in the sport of boxing. You have to protect yourself at all times, especially if you get hurt. When Kid Austin lost discipline and started mixing it up, he got hurt. Then he started complaining about getting hit behind his head. And he turned his back on his opponent. That could have been a KO. That was the round when he fell off his stool, when he went back to his corner. Protect yourself at all times. If Floyd Schofield was fighting Javante, we know Javante would have clipped him at that moment. So he got to be careful. Moving forward, he has to correct that mistake. If you're going to be rough in there, then you got to know how to deal with rough tactics yourself. If you can dish it, you got to be able to take it. Like Tank likes to say, either way, outside of the scary moments Schofield went through, this was actually his best performance of his career. This was his best discipline, dominant performance he ever had at this level. He wasn't making as many mistakes. He wasn't lunging as much. However, the only thing that you can critique him on is, of course, losing discipline, not going to the body as much as he should have had against this type of opponent. And of course, in the later rounds, gassing out, which led to his knockdown. It almost seemed like Schofield was fighting off pure heart in the later rounds. That's how tired he was. Either way, Schofield showed championship quality in there. And I want to see him mix it up at the top level. Him versus Shakur next year makes a whole lot of sense. As far as Javante, that's also another good fight. Javante being the dynamic puncher he is. Schofield can't be undisciplined in there. Schofield can't afford to lunge. Schofield can't afford to make a lot of mistakes against Tank. However, I think Floyd Schofield is like the Sean Porter of the lightweight division. If you're not going to knock him out, I see him giving a lot of fighters hell due to his style. He switched stances. He's awkward. He's talented. He has footwork. He has hand speed. He has good power. So he's going to give a lot of fighters tough time. Perhaps even Shakur and maybe even Javante. Remember, before Tank knocked out Roley, Roley was actually winning some of them rounds. So it ain't like Floyd Schofield can't do better than Roley. But the only thing is you don't want to have the same outcome as Roley. If Floyd Schofield ever get greedy with Tank, it could be night-night. And even if he doesn't get greedy, Javante at the moment in time is still the superior athlete. He's the superior fighter. At least from the outside looking in, we won't know until these guys step in the ring. You see, Javante is the top of fighter. He's so slick with it. He's so clever with it. He will give you an opening and you find out that's a trap like he did to Roley, Ryan Garcia, etc., etc., etc. 
I can see Javante fooling Schofield in there into a knockout. When he thinking he having success, all of a sudden Tank can surprise him with a KO blow. And that's the dangerous thing about fighting Javante. With that being said, Tank is the WBA champion and Floyd Schofield is climbing up the ladder real fast under the WBA as he's already ranked number two under the WBA. Therefore, there's a good chance that we can see Javante versus Floyd Schofield in the near future. And what a fight that would be. Whether you like Kid Austin or not, whether you think he can win or not, I like the fact that Kid Austin is young and he's daring to be great. He want to fight all of these guys. So he got my respect for that. With that being said, go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below. And to be continue on the next episode of Akhi TV. Peace out. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.